Friends of the YouTube, I'm back again uh, with my second Super 8 camera. Um, this one is a bit of a beast and it was a bit of a lucky find. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it is considerably bigger than the one I showed you before. If I just get this that one up there, you can you can see the comparison. It, it dwarfs it in size. Um, it's a much more serious camera. It does more frames per second. It's, it's got a better resolution as well, I found. Um, I prefer to use this one than I do this one, but this one's a lot smaller and compact. You can take it, you know, I take it on holiday. Um, but this one is the camera of choice. Um, let me just get rid of this one. Yeah, um, if we look on the front here, if I go above it again, um, this little wheel here is your zoom. Uh, you've got 8.5, 12, 20, and 35. Uh, your viewfinder here, to adjust the, the focus on the viewfinder, there's a wheel here, rather than having to turn the whole thing like on the other one, you just spin this wheel. Uh, here you've got your uh, you've got your focus here, again you've got to get the balance between the two. Um, it's got a very serious lens on it, if I just prop that up and if we look at it at an angle you can see it's, I think this is a more professional camera I would have thought, but um, I saw this at a car boot sale uh, in the village just down the road and um, I was prepared to pay up to about 20 quid for it because I thought it was definitely worth it. Obviously I was going to ask the guy about it if, it if it worked and stuff. He didn't have any idea, anything about it. He was selling it on behalf of someone else. Uh, he only wanted seven quid. Um, so yeah, I, I grinned from ear to ear. I handed the money over. I took it home. I had a look at it. I cleaned it up and sure enough it works fine. So. Um, I seem to get very lucky when it comes to these cameras. Um, if I turn it round here. You've got your frames per second there. It does 18 and 24. You can't really see that too well. Um, if I push this button behind it, da da, door opens. Get my film again. Film goes in there like so. Again, I'm not going to put it in because this one is particularly difficult to get out. It proper holds it in. Um, I just close that up. On the top here, this is uh, your exposure. You turn it all the way to the left, it's on auto, but like I said, I prefer to have it uh, manual because I prefer to do it myself. It's the exact same principle when you get the little the thing at the top. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's pretty smart, but it's a bit too big to just sort of lug around. But if you push this button here, the handle comes out. Um, the trigger is actually part of the camera rather than being on the handle like on my other one. Um, if I just show it towards us, this little switch here is the on off switch. All it does is when you've got it off, you can't push that down. It, it, The little switch, uh, there's a little bit that goes behind that to prevent you from pushing that down. All you do is push that down and you can do it. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a bit louder, but this one works. This one works as well. Um, you put your batteries in the back here you just pull that out and it's a little sleeve you put your batteries in. I take this I think this one takes about uh, four four double A's I think I can't remember the the one on the other video takes uh, three uh, you've got your battery check button just underneath here you just push that and yeah it's a, it's a good camera um, you can plug um, a, vi a voice recorder into this if you're using the right sort of film you can record uh, record voices, but again, you'd need a projector which will, you know, has a laser which will read the sound off the film. Uh, which I don't know if you've seen my projector review, I don't have, but yeah, um, I'll quickly show you the box as well because it's, it's pretty smart, it's in pretty good condition. It's, it's got leather, it's got chrome trim there, um, it's got a rubber, a rubber strap uh, so you can carry it, and no scuffs or marks. Chrome catch on the top there, I just open this up, oh, if I can do it with one hand, there we go, uh, inside there it's just black um, sort of felt with foam, uh, keeps it keeps it really snug, it's quite difficult to, to get in there, it took me a while to figure out that you're supposed to put it in upside down, and this is a receipt for a projector which isn't my one, um, you've got your moisture thing there, keep, keep the moisture out, uh, and here is a receipt for some film the guy who had it before me had developed, but um, I don't have that, so I don't know. But yeah, this is my second 
Super 8 camera is a shorter review. I'm trying to keep these as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. My next review will be my uh, the, the 50s Standard 8, which I really like that. It's particularly good. So yeah, um, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.